Um, I'm an artist, you know, because I'm a muralist, I'm an animator, I'm a cartoonist. Street art is inherently public, and so why I think uh, street art is uh, synonymous with San Francisco and why they're, they're, they're so similar is just because you have all these people uh, expressing themselves on the street, um, not embarrassed about what they're saying. Um, a lot like San Francisco, a lot of people are here, they're expressing themselves, they're not embarrassed of what kind of person they are. That's the beauty of public art. It's uh, a way to express yourself and be free and uh, not worry about what other people think. This is Rosie, she's from the, from the SPCA right in the mission. I'm carrying her on a skateboard in a Victorian mural in Balmy Alley. And then Bucky is up on the top of Victorian's shoulder um, with my wife. And Rosie was with me the whole entire time. Um, so she, I painted that mural for three months, so she was there every day and she had paint all on her back. Because she doesn't leave me, she doesn't leave my side, so she just got paint dripped on her the whole time. And uh, it was pretty funny. And that didn't come out for a while. Huh, Rose? The difference between graffiti and street art I think that is anecdotal and I think that it's a personal decision based on that particular artist because there's a lot of people that are doing very traditional murals which you have to consider that being street art and then there's people that are doing um, graffiti based murals, things with, with spray cans. You can't just block it down and just say they're all uh, the same. Um, they're, they're totally different and um, I think that one of the most important things in the tradition of, of making murals is being able to tell stories. And I feel that graffiti murals, um, a lot of them that I see tend to be just words or tend to be graphics, which is less of storytelling and more of just aesthetics. Uh, my mom's white and my dad's black. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm mixed, uh, but I was adopted to an all-black family. I experienced huge amounts of racism in Ohio. Um, uh, racism that you, you would only see in the movies. Um, things that happened to me and my family were, uh, were horrible. And uh, um, I needed to escape that. I wanted to go to a place where everybody was accepted. And San Francisco is one cliche to everyone in Ohio, and that's where um, all the gay people are. And so in my head, I was like, well, if that's one place where no matter who you are or what your sexual preferences or whatever, you're accepted, um, that's a place where I want to go. It's freedom here and it's beautiful. And um, it's allowed me to become a good artist and express myself. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky. I'm pretty lucky that I found this place.